Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Kona. My name is Jeff Aviano. We're going to continue this series today on this lovely Tuesday. Actually, it's late on a Tuesday after I've recorded LSPDFR. So maybe you'll get both videos at one time. Remember we were in here and we searched everywhere and everybody's like, no, you didn't do this right. As usual, it goes with all of my uh, <laughs> videos I do. However, I do have an agenda for today, and that is we are going to go down here. We're going to follow those wolf tracks. A lot of you guys wanted me to do that last time, so I will do that. We're going to go down, and then we are also going to finish the treasure hunt. We'll take our rifle with us today. I'm going to go check this little path down here, see if uh, there's anything that the paw prints may lead us to. They go deep into the woods, of course. One very interesting thing is... Somebody said, Jeff, did you notice? Oh, we got wolves. All right, let's try to be a little bit easier this time. So let's see if we have any items on us. We have meat. Well, we had a couple of steaks on us, but I could be wrong. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, equip. Do we have... Oh, we do have some steaks. Okay. Hey, let's see if we can throw the steak for these guys. What are they... Hey, here you guys go. You want that? Go get the... They don't care about the steak. They don't care about the steak, dude. Hey, they don't care about the steak. Get on out of here. I shot above them. I didn't shoot at them. What were you guys digging at over here, huh? Stay over there, you little bastards. What is this? Picked up something special. What was it? Picked up small key, forest cabin key. We have two talismans now. Look at that. Interesting. Not 100% sure what we do with those talismans, but I do know that we can grab them. Get on out of here, you little jackasses. Yeah, jackass. Well, I'm glad we followed them because it seems like they uh, they do take you places. I You may have heard that. That was a huge, huge strike of lightning outside. Anything in here? All right, let's see if... I don't uh, miss the obvious and everything here. <laughs> oh, we have another flare. Yes. Uh, ooh, another more oil cans. So basically with this game, we are getting close to pretty much everything you do in the, uh, everything you can do in the, ooh, another magnet, but we can't take it. Uh, in the early access, we've freed the two souls. Ooh, we'll take those. We have also, Okay, anything here? Can't see a lot of people always tell me to pick up like different things. Oh, we get the hammer. I know everybody wanted me to get that hammer last time. We'll get the hammer. If we can go bam! Smacka! Smacka racka with a hammer. Um But uh what was I saying? Yes. We're getting towards the ends of all of that stuff. So whoop, we have something here. Close that. And then ooh. I don't know what that is. Some special item. It was a Lan oh, we got lamp oil. I already had that. It was something I already had then. It was more Polaroid film, I believe. That's what it looked like, at least. But yeah, I think we're getting to the end of what we can do in this early access game. We released the two, but now all we have left is the treasure hunt for the most part, and to just search all the ever, you know, all the little stuff. So that's what we're going to do today: is search out the little stuff. What's this? Beer bottles? Hell yeah! Hell yes! We can start a fire right here. We need logs for that. And somebody told me I can chop trees down with the hatchet. Let's see if that is a true. No, it is not true. <laughs> you can't. Oh, maybe you can. It reminds me of, uh, what was that? Stranded deep. Doesn't seem like we're doing anything done. So I would say no. Uh, my, my guess is no on that one. Yeah, they say we need one log for that. Look at this little pond out here. That's so cool. Really cool stuff. Anything else back here I need to know about? These dogs were sniffing around. It's possible. Where's another axe? Don't need it though. We already have one. Oh, logs. Logs right there. Yes, we can make a fire and we won't freeze to death out here. Start that fire. There we go. Now our temp can get back up there. Let's get our weapon out. And it's about to continue on with our little hunt here. I just want to make sure that we're up to speed here before we continue following these guys. 
So I don't know what they are trying to lure us to. And, but uh, I remember I was stopped mid-sentence when I saw those wolves. But somebody had mentioned, Jeff, did you notice that winter came quick? Meaning there's like a uh, lawnmower in the road, you know, in the lawn. And then there was a bicycle and stuff. And it looks like winter just came out of nowhere. And I agree. I do agree. That's that's a possibility. I don't like back here, but we're going. We are going. Hello. Ooh, it's really freaky back here. Super creepy and freaky. Super creepy, freaky. No. Go. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Get on. Get. Get on. Get. Get out of here. Get. They are freaking out. Okay, maybe that, maybe that was it. I would give them some more stakes, but they are glitchy McGlitchersons. There they go. They finally got away. All right. Oh, some more stuff to take here. I had a feeling following the tracks. I mean, following the tracks almost always brings you to wolves, but you get stuff. So that's pretty cool. Got somebody's boots out here. A couple things here we'll take. Usables. Ooh, is there something in the tire? There's a sack in the tire, but I can't get to the sack. I can't get to the shack. I tell you what. Boxes. Nothing. Another magnet. Well, let us get the magnet. Nope. Notice how these magnets are everywhere, and they're all attached to something. A little strange. Strange behavior. And now I feel like I was an idiot because I shot at those wolves. And uh, I'm just wasting ammunition. However, I do have ammunition. I picked up more of it. So, yeah. Ooh, then we can make another fire. Yes, we can. Perfect time because we were starting to lose our... What you call it? Oh, there are tracks right here leading down this way. So, yeah, we have the treasure hunt to continue on. But other than that, I don't know what else we have. But we're going to keep going where these doggies are taking us to. This is that other house. Yeah, this is the other house, but we're going to follow the tracks because that's what we're doing today. I hope I stood by the fire and got warmed up enough. I was an idiot if I didn't. Okay. I think Carl needs to burn one. What do you guys say? I think he does. Nope, not that. Uh, usable. Yep. He's burn one so he has a steadier aim in case we come across something else. Besides a wolf. We're going to follow these tracks. Doom, 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 doom. We need that gun back out. Oh, somebody told me I could just hit E and it does that. Let's let's see if that is the case. If I just hit E, I should get my gun out. E. Nope. One. Nope. It's not E. Yeah, I, I'm not really sure what, what it is. Sorry. Let's continue. You know you're going to run into more of the damn wolves. The only way to, to scare them is to shoot at them. But they didn't care about the meat steak I threw at them earlier. Something else down here. Let me get another fire so we can continue to live. I mean, we have enough logs and crap on us, but we might as well keep fires going here. It might be for the best. It just might be for the best. So you can't get all the bottles and stuff. I know some people always tell me to, I call them bottle hunters. Maybe we're getting to something here. I don't know what else we would be uh, finding, but we're going to follow these tracks. This music is freaking creepy. I'm not going to lie. I want to get back to my truck, but we are so far away from that. If you think about it, like we are, where are we at on the, on the map? Let's look. Oh my God. We are far away from our truck. Our truck's way up there. So we're headed down here. Okay, where the general stores and all that. Well, if we just follow ourselves back, we'll be able to get back to our truck. So that's good. Let me get my gun back out. All right. There's a tent down here. The campsite. And I'm sure those pesky wolves will be down here. They'll probably spawn in. Like the little assholes that they are. What do we got? Ooh, more fun stuff. Yeah. Whoa, they were all over the place over here, weren't they? 
There's a sack in there. Let's start a fire. Oh, we don't have any logs. Don't have any in that. Can we get in here to get to that? How do you get to that thing? Maybe you have to just look at it just right. Because you can see the square on there, but can't get to it. Uh, maybe it's just decoration. All right, so nothing here. They just kind of let us down here to try to kill us pretty much. Like, hey, hey, dummy, come down here. Ooh, we'll take that. More screws and bolts and whatnot. I'm not sure what in the hell is going on in this game. I really haven't figured it out. I thought I would have had an idea by now, but I think we're going to have to wait for the full game to come out to really have an understanding. Although, look at this. The tracks continue. The mystery deepens. All right. We'll go over here then. I'm starting to be like, screw the truck and just go out hoofing it. Where'd the tracks go? I just saw them. Here they are here. And they go this way. There they are right here. I have a feeling the tracks lead us to important things in this game. What that is, I don't know. But we're just like right on the edge of this. Uh, yeah, this is a bad idea. We might freeze to death out here. And they end there, but they continue up this way. It's loading something in. That's not very good. Anything here? Let's look. Oh, we're headed up by the general store. Well, that's good. We can at least get uh, the general store um, for heat. So that's good for us. All right, let's continue this way. the music again. There's a bridge. Little thing. Something up there. It's all very strange stuff. I don't know if the wolf tracks have anything to do with the... I don't know what it has to do with. We're going to continue following it. Yep, here's the general store. So, this is where they ended right there. Hmm. Well, let's get some heat in us. And then once we do that... We're going to go back and recover our truck. I'm not going to make you guys sit through me walking all the way back up to get my truck because I was an idiot. <laughs> wow, our temp did drop though. But yeah, we're going to get warmed up here, get back in our truck, and we're going to finish out this treasure hunt. All right, we are back at the Bedard's house, and everybody screamed at me to uh, get this hammer in here. So let's just go ahead and do it. We need to warm up anyway. We need to warm up anyway on the way back. So let's find the hammer. It's right here. It's right there. And look at that. You can't even get it. You can't even get it. You can't get the saw. You, you can take that. We like that. But yeah, you can't even get that. So there's that. Nothing there. Nothing there. Plunger, all that. I mean, everybody was yelling at me about it. And it's like, man, if you don't see a square on it, you can't have it. So... If that makes sense, hopefully it does to you. But we did get a hammer in the last house, so it's not even a big deal. But yeah, no. You can't get it. I look at things that have squares on them. See how they have little squares? If they don't have a little square on them, I don't even bother. Okay, I think we're good now. Back into the cold we go. Back to our truck. Alrighty. Let's continue our treasure hunt. Continue the treasure hunt. We need to go back down where the cabins are, where the three cabins are, and uh, go a hunting right around in that area. We go left out of here. Head to where the general store is. We're going to cut through the general store area. Cross the bridge on the road that's to the right of the fork. And it should be the first right after that. I pretty much have the map down now. I pretty much know it. Uh, the only thing we haven't done too much of is exploring the north, this side on the right of us, uh, on foot. Other than, like, you know, that person stuck in the ice and all that stuff. That was pretty eerie, that's for sure. Yep. Rally racer. Come on. Round the corner. <laughs> Carl's just been around a few times. He's like, man, I've been around the block a couple times. I think I know this town. Make a right turn here. Can barely see it whenever it's pouring snow out. Terrain private. Okay. 
All right, we're climbing the hill here. Well, the road turns to the right. There should be a cabin right off our nose here. And there is. And right up here in this general area is where we're going to be looking for the treasure map number two. All right. So let's go over here. I have a feeling it's going to be up in this way. I'm going to take a, let's just take a hatchet with us on this one. I'm starting to feel a little bit more comfortable, but still not the best. Let's look at our map real fast here. And here we are. Should be right in this area if we look hard enough for it. But try not to shout at me. I won't be able to hear you if I pass it. Ooh, it could be over here with some logs. There it is right there. How did I miss that earlier? I don't know. We found the second one. So from here, we go back behind that first house back there. Okay. Well, we can do that. Let's head back to the truck and continue the treasure hunt. All right. Here's the second road that takes us back to the cabin. And it's going to be up here in this general area. Let's get out and search for this one. So it's behind the cabin on the left-hand side. If we look at our map, we'll know right back here, right behind the shack. Behind the love shack is a little old place where we can treasure hunt together. Gotta be up here somewhere. Probably before it gets too thick, I would imagine. I would imagine. I would imagine. Oh, found it. Look at that. First try. There it is. And a flare in there too. Ooh, look at this one. So this one goes back in the woods to the left side of that from where we're at right now. Hmm. Strange. Stranger things have happened, I guess. Oh, back by where the ice wall is. You know what? I started walking off and I just realized, you know what? We already did this one because if we look at uh, our documents in the treasure map, we've already done this one because that's the first one we found. Remember, we found that one. Um, what is it? You know, if I see, we're going after six now. We're going over that one and I know where that's at. I just walked by it earlier. So we have one. Carl wondered how long he would have to endure this skin stinging yeah, cold. Shut up, Carl. We had number two. We just picked up. Now number three, that's the one by the ice wall that we picked up. Remember by the rocks? Originally, that was the first one we ever found. So then it's four, then it's five, and then six. Okay, I got you now. All right, cool. Let's get in our truck and we're going to go get number six. We're near the general store, and I wonder if we could go off-road in our truck. Wouldn't that be amazing? Let's do it. Will it let us? I don't think it will let us, though. I think it's like, no, you have to go on foot, dude. You can't cheat, dude. Let's see. Yeah, no. They don't let you. We're just, we're, we'll leave the truck here. That's fine. That is perfectly fine. I know where we're going. We're going down here to where that campsite is, because it's just to the side of the campsite. Campsite. If we open up our little map here. We know where that is because I saw it earlier. There's the campsite there. So we need to make it to the campsite. And then once we're at the campsite, we can uh, continue on to where the uh, treasure is. It's going to be up here on the point. See, the, the map is a lot smaller than you think it is. I'll tell you that right now. I'm learning that very quickly. All right. We made it to the camp right here. I think we Can we actually make a fire? We need to make a fire. Oh, we don't have a log to make said fire. Oh, oh well, let's get our stuff out here. Our, where's it at? Yep, treasure map. And so we're looking this way from there. We did five already. We're looking at number six. So number six, oh, there it was a minute ago. Oopsies, go the other way. All right, so number six is just to the north of that point. Okay, so up here and to the right. All right, we can do that. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. It's going to be over here. I remember I was on that path earlier today. So crazy. Here's a little lake thing. It's going to be the left of the lake. Probably along this trail, I'd imagine. Where is it going to be? 
<laughs> like a needle in a haystack. Well, it's not that bad, to be honest. What do we got over here? Is it over here next to these rocks? Yes, it is. We found it. We found it. Put this away, dude. Thank you. All right, what we got? Ooh. X marks the spot near the bushes on the other side of the bushes there. Okay. So we can continue back up this way towards the bushes. I know I have a campsite over that way already. So let's grab the flare. Okay. Let's look here. We've got another campsite. So we're going to go to the campsite. There's the bushes up here on the left of us. So the plan is to go to the boot to the campsite and, and get warm. So let's do that first. All right, here is the campsite. Let's get warm so Carl can live again. Where were we at? We were down to uh, 69. That wasn't bad. Only 69%. So right in front of us is where we're going to be heading next. Let's get our rifle ready and go a hunting. So right on the tip of this bush here is where it needs to go, right? We're, I mean, we're talking about right there, maybe to the right of it, but about straight in front of us. Let's do it. Let's do this. I mean, it can't be too far. Hell, it might be right around here. But remember, I was following the tracks earlier, so that's why we never saw little treasure chests right off the side. I should have known, but I didn't know. Okay, it has to be in this general area. There it is right there. Lando! It didn't take too long. All right, what we got in here? The final one? No, oh, we're almost there. So right where the river forks behind us. Okay. I see where that's at. Right before the, where the river forks. So let's head back. Get some more uh, heat in our system. And then we'll continue on. Press on and press on. Yay. We made it to the campsite. Let's get our weapon out. And we're going to follow this down right before the river fork. So actually, we look at it one more time. Always got to double check. River fork is down here. We follow it. There's another campsite down there anyway. So that works for us. Let's go ahead and do it. It's going to fall right alongside here. I'm going to fall into the river. That wouldn't be good. Don't fall into the river, Jeff. Please don't do that. All right. It's me up here. But yeah, I'm pretty... Pretty excited for this game to come out with a full version so we can figure out what the hell is going on because this is the strangest stuff I've ever seen. It's so strange. Is this where it stops? There it is. There it is. All right. Continue south up against this wall. Really? The river forks out and around out and around. Okay. It's going to be up here on the right somewhere. So out and around says to do. I hope they are correct on the other side of this. Uh, looks like where my other campsite is. Can we get through that way? I don't think so. Not with these rocks. Head back to the campsite. All right, let's go ahead and get warm by the fire again. So here's the house right here in this campsite. If we look right there and then right up against that wall where we can't, we're not allowed to go is where it's going to be. It's going to be over there. Yep. I say we just go straight out ahead of in front of us here. Let's get our trusty rifle out. Although I know if we do come across more wolves, we'll just use the uh, flare gun instead because I know we can do that. All right, let's see if we can find this final one. Hopefully, it's the last one. I doubt it is, though. I really doubt it is. Okay, what do we have over here? Looks like we might have it. No, this is the stuff I remember from earlier. Oh, man. If there was a chest around here the whole time, I'm going to beat myself. Senseless. It's going to be up here on the right somewhere. Maybe right here, then. This is the rock wall. Yep, here it is right here. Didn't see it the whole time, like an idiot. Ooh, more stuff. Another one. We're here, and we gotta go to that. Well, we can go up to the house. It's gonna be up by the road. We're right up by the road. Okay. 
How many damn treasure maps are there in this thing? Take you. And we're going to head back up to this house, get warm. And then uh, we're probably going to go back and get our truck because we've neglected our truck for a while. All right, we have the truck. We came down here back to that house. And uh, let's look and see. We just need to make it right out of this road and take it down right where those... Right alongside there. Okay, cool. Sounds good to me. Yep. Get nice and warm, Carl. Heat your hands up, brother, because we're about to go back out here in a little bit. So right whenever the road turns to the right, it looks like, uh, you know, where those rock faces are, that's where we're going to find. It's going to be right off the side of the road, too. So not too far down here. Here's the turn. And this is, you know, we obviously would have never seen this before because of the uh, intro. We were just walking outside, you know, not walking outside, driving, driving by here real fast, going to a town. Of course, we never would have seen the uh, treasure. All right. So here's the rock face thing here. It's got to be in this general area. The hell is that? Oh my god, it's sealed off, guys. Something just sealed us in. I am pretty freaked out right now. I've got chills. They're multiplying. Let's look at our map here. Roy and all that stuff here. So they sealed us in. Are you freaking kidding me? Let's look at the... Uh, let's look at our treasure map for number six. We're not 610 now, I think we're on. Yeah, 10. Right at the end of the trees. Okay, so right at the end of the trees. So behind us there a little bit, it looks like. I believe. Yeah, there's the trees right there. We are so close. It's got to be right in this area. So Carl is not getting out of here anytime soon. It's going to be back here somewhere. There it is. Found it. Found it. What do we got? More flares too. Congratulations. You found the last treasure. Now we need to replace all these things in Mr. Roy's shed before he notices they're missing. Before that, we will shoot flares on some stuff. Call me your friend, Martin. That was it. We got a flare gun. That was it. Ah! Well. We come to a very abrupt end. We've done all of that. And at this point in this series, I'm going to open it up to you guys in the comments below. I mean, look, we're sealed in here, guys. We can't get, we're not leaving this town. I wonder if it, we're going to change as we get near this ice wall. Something's going to happen. Look at that. Ice. Somebody's saying, no, 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 you don't. Yeah, but I'm going to leave it open to you guys. You know, I'm allow the spoilers to be free. And uh, dynamite. That's how we get out of here. Dynamite. We're going to need to find the dynamite, guys, to blast our way back out of here. But yeah, at this point, let me know in the comments below where you guys, uh, maybe you know where the dynamite's located. And we're going to continue to do that next time. We'll find the dynamite, hopefully blow our way out of here and be done with it. But uh, yeah, I mean, we're pretty much done with everything you can do so far in this game. And it still makes no sense to me. I still have no idea what's going on. Still no idea. So we're going to call it there, guys. And I will see you all very soon. Take care.